nations of the earth now rejoice. All the nations of the earth now rejoice. All the people of God sing His praise. All the people of God sing His praise. Everything that had breath shout for joy. Everything that had breath shout for joy. Cause everything that is beautiful belongs to you. for watching our weekly broadcast with the House of Christ. I'm Dr. Geraldine Rush and I just want to encourage you to catch us each Friday at 11 a.m. here on Channel 17 and you'll be so glad that you did. And if you would like to catch us on Facebook Live, we broadcast our sermon every Sunday between 1045 and 11 a.m. So just send a message uh, to become a friend and you can watch us on Facebook Live. God bless you. Continue to grow in Christ. Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 through 18. We're going to talk a little bit more about Paul on today. Amen? Amen. 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 And the scripture says, But I want you to know, brethren, that the things which happened to me have actually turned out for the furtherance of the gospel, so that it has become evident to the whole palace guard and to all the rest that my chains are in Christ. And most of the brethren in the Lord have become confident by my chains, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ even from envy and strife, and some also from goodwill. The former preach Christ for selfish ambitions, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my chains, but the latter out of love, knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the gospel. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and in this I rejoice, yes, and will rejoice. Amen? Amen? May God bless the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his word on today. Father God, we thank you. Thank you God, we thank you for all that's going on. Amen. We thank you for loving kindness and tender mercies. We thank you that is well with our soul as it is. Oh, Father God, we just lift up our voices unto you on today, praising you all the more. It doesn't matter what we're going through, God. We know that you deserve the praise. You deserve the glory. So, Father God, have your way in this service. Have your way in our hearts. Have your way in our lives. Have your way in this country, Lord God. Yes. Let us feel your presence, God, like never before. Let us, God, hear you speak to our hearts on today. Father God, I just thank you for all that you're doing, God. Yes. And, Lord, it is I standing in the need of prayer. So, Father God, I, would, I pray that you would bring those things to my remembrance, God, that you would have me to share with your people on today yes. so that we will be so much better for this time that we spend in your presence. Father God, we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And thank Amen. God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, somebody. Glory to God. Amen. But just for a moment, we want to preach from a theme. You can't stop this. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Sometimes you just got to stop and tell the devil you can't stop this. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. The book of Philippians proved that while the Apostle Paul what was in prison, he never lost his passion, his mission, or direction to continue his calling. Amen, somebody. So many times for us, we will just, uh, when stuff starts happening, we will lose focus. Amen. Amen. We will get off of our path in which God has placed us on. And, and we give the devil, what, too much credit. Amen. And, and sometimes we have to remind ourselves that you can't stop this. Come on. Amen. Amen. What God has ordained, can't nobody stop it, especially the devil. Amen. Amen. And so Paul never lost sight of what he was called to do, regardless of what his situation and although he could not go and plant new churches and preach the gospel or lay hands on folks to heal, glory to God, 
Uh, he never gave up on continuing the call in ministry. Amen. Sometimes we got to just do it where we are, regardless of where uh, our, our, our ministry takes us. And no matter how the devil tries to pull us off of our game, come on, somebody. We got to stand sometime and just say, you know what, devil, get behind me, Satan. Amen, amen somebody. Here in our chapter today, amen, Paul insists that his circumstances actually turned out for the progress of the gospel. Amen. Because it took Paul to places he never thought he would preach the gospel. You know, many times, folks, when they're in prison, come on, we don't think that we need to let our light shine. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. And so, regardless of why Paul was there, Paul said, you know, I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity. I got to some churches I need to send letters to to make sure everything is going right. I need to convert some souls where I am. Come on, somebody. What am I saying? Uh, regardless of where you own the job, let your light so shine. Amen. Come on, wherever you go, if you're standing in the line at the grocery store, you ought to turn around and say, you know what? Ain't God good? Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. We just ought to let know that God still is in control. Amen. Glory to God. With all the twists and turns in Paul's life, he used his location as a platform to accomplish his mission. You know what? you got to be on your game to not let the devil throw you off track of what God has called you to do. you got to be focused. Amen. Glory to God. you you got to be ready to deal with the circumstances. Amen, somebody. Paul models to us an incredible attitude toward adversity. It didn't make any difference what was going on. It didn't make any difference what he was faced, faced with. Paul still what, stayed on the battlefield for the Lord. Yes, he, he let us know that regardless of our situation, we continue, can, can continue to live for Christ. Amen, Amen somebody. And here the apostle Paul understood what it was like to be what persecuted for Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. You know, so many times when stuff starts start coming against us, what do we do? We start complaining and murmuring instead of realizing that now if they talked about Jesus, who do you think you are? Right. Amen. If they persecuted him, why do you think you won't get by? Come on, somebody. We have to realize that as a Christian, we got a target on our back for the devil. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. We got to realize. Paul understood what persecution was like. He knew hunger. Come on, somebody. He knew pain. He knew suffering. And he knew Christ. Mm -hmm. What was spoken over Paul's life when he was converted to Christianity was not a great prophecy. Amen. Amen. They didn't tell Paul that you're going to go and, and start all these churches for the Lord and mm -hmm. many people are going to be converted in your name. You know, that's what we want to hear. Yeah. Oh, the Lord is going to do a great work through you and, and you're just going to bless many people. Don't nobody want to hear about it, baby. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a rough road to hold. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some sick. You're going to have some situations that you're going to have to deal with that you're going to feel like crying to Jesus every night. Come on. They don't tell about the stuff that you're going to have to go through. Come on. Because folks don't want to hear that. Nobody would accept the call. But we need to know that if we're going to reign with Jesus, we're also going to have to do some suffering. Come on now. We're not exempt from what stuff is happening to all this, this stuff that's going on in the world. Matter of fact, we probably are going to experience it to a greater level. Amen. Come on, somebody. we got to realize that we're in this thing to win it. We ain't out here. This ain't no popularity contest. Amen. 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 The road is going to get rocky and tough and the hills are going to get hard to climb. Yes, they are. Glory to God. Yes. But we're going to have to realize that with God on our side, yes. nothing, ain't nothing too impossible for us. Amen. Yeah, Paul didn't get this great prophecy when he was converted to Christianity. It, it was more of what he would have to endure for Christ's sake. Acts 16, 9 and 16 said, For I will show you, come on, I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's, what, that's what he was told. Come on. Paul will have to reap, come on somebody, what he had sown, but he understood it from the very beginning. Amen. Amen. A strong soldier does not give up the fight because the battle gets tough. Come on, y'all. I'm just trying to encourage you today. We stay in the fight.
life until the very end. Yes, that's right. Amen, hey, somebody, because we're going to have some scars. Yes. Come on, y'all. We're going to have some bruises and some bumps and some, some knots to show folks about what we've gone through. It ain't always looking like we stepped out of the GQ magazine. Come on. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. We're going to have some, some scuffs and some scars and some marks to show yes. from ministry. Yes. I just want to encourage you today. But that just makes the journey so much sweeter. And when God does bless us, come on, somebody. We will know that, you know what? I ain't taking this for granted. God is, amen, all that we need. So whether Paul was in prison or out, he continued to preach the gospel, amen, even in his letters. Because you know what? Our sermons are letters from our heart to yours and to Christ. That's what a sermon is. Amen. amen. Uh, we, we preach what is in our heart or on Christ's mind. We, it's one of the two. Amen, somebody. When, when, when led by the Holy Spirit, we preach Christ. Yes, we do. Amen. But when led by our hearts, we preach what's in us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm hoping that you got a lot of Jesus in you. Amen. Because that's what folks need to hear today. We don't need to hear about the world. We got that. Amen. Amen. We got that already. So whether the word of the world, it shows up. John 15 and 19 says that if you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. That's right. As it is, you do not belong to the world. But I have chosen you out of the world. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. That is why the world hates you. Amen. That's why we catch it on our jobs. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes, you know, we go weeks without getting a, a good word from somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Sometimes, you know, that the, the world hates you. You got to get around some Christians for them to say, Pastor, you're doing a good job. Amen. I'm, I'm with you all the way. If you go out there in the world, I'm telling you, folks can say some stuff that make you want to put down the road for a minute. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Therefore, it is so important to stay connected to Christ. Yes. It really is. Yes. So that all that is said and done will bring glory to Him and Him alone. Amen. It ain't about you getting no glory. It's about glorifying Christ. Mm -hmm. Our glory comes when we go to meet Him. Yes. Come on, somebody. Not on this side, but on the other side. Come on. Amen. When we remember our call, glory to God, we will stay focused on what we are called to do. Mm -hmm. That's why it's good to always remember and give your testimony about what God called you to do. Amen, yeah. Amen somebody. To keep that calling before you yeah. so that you don't lose focus, you don't get off track. Amen. You don't lose direction. We lose, when you know, because we don't lose sight of it. We focus on what we want to do. And it never lines up with God's word. This is why it's so important to remember. What did God call you to do? Yes. Are you doing it? Yes. You got to look at your, your call. Amen, somebody. Acts 9 and 15 says what? This is what uh, Ananias told Paul. This man, God says, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. You know, we always say that Paul was called to the Gentiles. Amen? Amen. Because if we don't quote, quote the call, Paul was called to everybody. Yes, he was. You see that? So let's clear this up right now. Paul wasn't just called to us. The word says he was called to the Gentiles, their kings, mm -hmm. and to the people of Israel. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. But Paul was called to preach to everyone. Glory to God, everyone. And here in verse 16, in Acts, he says, but Paul will ex what Paul will experience will carry out what God has called him to do, for I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. So Paul calling wasn't one to, 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 to run out and do and be encouraged to do all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Paul was looking at suffering, mm -hmm. trials and tribulations, persecution. Come on, somebody. Amen. But you know what? He took it in stride. He never let it stop him from doing what God had called him to do. You know, that's the same way it is. When God calls a soldier off the battlefield in the world, he knows that he'll be a soldier on the battlefield for the Lord. Amen. Amen, somebody. If he can stay true to doing wrong, God knows you can stay true to doing right. Amen. Amen. When he converts you. This is why it's so important 
Amen. Because what? That person has a testimony to tell you where God called them. And usually God calls us right in the midst of our midst. Right. You hear rappers talking about, or, or gangbangers talking about, I was out there getting ready to bust a cap on him. And all of a sudden the Lord said, you need to put that gun down. Amen. Amen, somebody. And you're sitting here going right in the midst of doing wrong. Mm -hmm. God speaks. Yes, he does. Get your attention and say, I got something for you to do. If you're gonna be this, if you're gonna be this courageous out here for the devil, I got something for you. It pays better dividends. Come on, somebody. It has, it carries clout. Glory to God. It changes folks' lives just like I'm gonna change yours. Yes, it does. We have to be mindful, glory to God. And it ain't, and it's never that we are called in the midst of sitting up here in the church and I was praying to the Lord and he heard my cry and he spoke, yeah, he'll do that. But when God has a call for you to do a work for him, yeah. it's usually he gets your attention when you're someplace you ain't supposed to be. Come on, Amen. doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. I just, I'm just trying to remind you. Because, you know, people nowadays, they think they got to fix themselves up and get right before God comes. Come on, before they can ask God to come into your life. No, that ain't the question. You can be in the midst of your mess. And realize that you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And say, Lord, have mercy on me. Yes. Amen, somebody. And receive salvation and change your life like that. That's the kind of God that we serve. So it ain't always about you coming to church and, and you, amen. Yeah, we want you to come to church. We want the word to wash all of this old mess out of your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. We want the word to wash you clean because it's the word that does the work. Salvation is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now we've got to what? We've got to transform you. Be ye transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen, somebody. That's what Romans 12 tells us. Now we've got to be transformed. Mm -hmm. The first step is accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And now we've got to get this transformation down pat. This is why you see so many folks out here professing Christ and doing all this wrong living because they have not been transformed. Right. Get yourself into a church and let the word and make sure it is a word preached church, which means they open up this Bible and they quote scripture. You just ain't coming to sit down and then y'all just have a little talk about what the current world events are. Amen. 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 That ain't going to help you. It sure ain't going to change you. Preach. I just I just come by to let you know I ain't trying to rain on nobody's parade, but I'm tired of these false lies being told. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. That's what Paul was writing most of these letters to the churches in the New Testament to keep them on track. Amen. 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 The Galatians, they had got so far off track. He said, who have bewitched you? What didn't happen up in here? That's not, this is not the what the salvation that you that you uh, professed when I was there. You got these suit sales and these liars all up in here telling you all kind of stuff. Come on now. We need to come back to what God has commanded in your heart. Yeah. Our time we let folk come in just because it sounds right. Amen. Yeah, we jump on board and start running with you. But your life don't change. Come on. That's right. You ought to look at it sometimes. Come on, I'm following the church, but ain't nothing happening. You're at the wrong place. Come on. Amen. The wrong place. As we deal, you know, we've got so many things going on right here in our church. Amen, somebody. Paul was, just like Paul, he was going through and experiencing many things for God. We're no different. Amen. You know, we, 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 we were in the midst last week of, 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 of trying to get some, some things that we were doing through final inspection. And Lord Jesus, they failed inspection. Not only that, then five other things happened. Now that, that now the folks trying to get money and double the budget on doing the work, and I said, oh my God. Amen. I told my husband, I said, but the devil is alive. We come against that spirit in the name Amen. of Jesus. Yes. I said, no, we're going to work this out. I said, they about running down the road real fast. I said, we're going to slow it up yes. and find out the other, op the other options that we have. Yes. Amen, yes. somebody. I said, because the devil is already defeated, yes. but he thinks we don't know. He messing with the wrong sister. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. I his time is running out. And I know he on his game to try to get me off of my course. But I'm going to stay in fast. I'm going to believe what God said. Come on, somebody. And we're going to work within our means and we're going to get this done. Yes, we are. My Bible tells me that the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but to those that endure until the end. Yes. Amen. It may not get done when we want it, but it's going to get done. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I don't care what the devil's doing. I said, okay. I 
see, you think I, you messing with the wrong sister? I don't run scared at the yes. first time of battle. Yes. Come on. Yes. I don't turn around. I don't let stuff shake me. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. I knew, I'm like Paul, I knew what I was getting into when I said yes. Come on, somebody. I told God, I said, you calling me to be a preacher when they don't even let women stay in the pulpit? Yes. He said, don't make no difference who you stand. The word can go forward. Come on, somebody. Yes. He let me know, don't get so caught up on what man want to put you. It's where I place you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. You don't need that okay. Yeah, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise That's what God says about our lives that count. That man, can no man tell me and speak nothing in my life that God ain't gonna that God is gonna work out for me. Yes. Amen. And see, you don't even realize that you have the power to say no. That I don't believe that's what God has said. Come on. Yes. You let everybody speak something over you yes. and then you say amen to come from. Give it confirmation. I don't say amen to everything. Come on, somebody. And I, I you know, I say, God, you, you let this word resonate with my soul. If it ain't, I ain't saying nothing. Yes. Yes. Say what you want to say. Yes. But God has the final say so. And we had all of these things going on. Glory to God. And all of these things were happening. And I said, God, what is going on? He said, now you know when you start doing the work for me, the devil is going to pull out all of his stuff. That because this is going to be a great ministry. Yes. Yes. Not just good, not just fair, but great. Yes. And when you get ready to do something great for the Lord, you got to know who you're going to be dealing with. Yes. Right. Here come the devil with his army. Glory to God. I told God last night, am I going to have to call on Gabriel? Come on. Glory to God. Am I going to have to call Michael down here? Am I going to have to be just like Daniel? Lord, you know, I don't mind calling on the angels. Come on, somebody. But if I need to make a call, I don't have a problem. Yes, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. But the devil's got to flee because we already have the victory. Yes, Lord. Yes. Glory to God. These things were expected, but not to the extent that they were happening. Yes. My husband and I, my husband who went away, he, when he get that frown on his head, I know he got a headache. You know, when I saw him walk away, I said, well, you know, I said, honey, don't let this stuff get to you. I ain't studying these folk. That's exactly what I said. I said, I'm not studying these people. Right. I said, God ain't spoke yet. I said, that's what they said. Yeah. And I said, we fit the call and find out what our other options are. Yes, Lord. We ain't saying, yeah, just because. That's what somebody said. God has the final say so. Yes, he Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Amen. But God will be just like Paul. Yes. All of these things will work out for what the furtherance of the gospel. Yes. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Because Romans, 20, Romans 8 and 28 says what? And we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God. And to those who are what? The called according to his purpose. Glory to God. And my, that's what my word is telling me. It's going to work out for our good. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. When I finish quoting scripture, come on. Amen, somebody. When I finish telling them what my God says, I know God is going to work it out. Amen. He's going to work it out. As we follow Paul's life throughout scripture, Paul experienced what? A lot of suffering for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. But he stayed the course. I want to tell you today, don't you give up on Christ? Amen. I don't care what the doctor said. Yes. Come on. I don't care what you heard. I don't care what's going on. Our prayers are being heard. Glory to God. Jesus is working on your request. And just like a good parent, he wants to make sure that what you are asking for is right. Amen. Amen, somebody. You know, sometimes we just start asking for everything we see. We like children in a, in a toy store. Mama, I want this. Mama, I want that. Mama, I want this. Baby, we ain't buy, didn't I tell you before when we left home we weren't buying nothing today? Come on out of here. They start their pouting and they start their crying. All right, now. Don't make me pull out wrap up in here. Come on. Amen. Amen. Don't Amen. make me pull out the, 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 the belt. So let's get on back to the house. And so we know when our children want something because they keep saying that one thing all the time, right? right. We know then that that is something that they truly want. Amen. But when their mind starts changing like the wind, yes. they, just, they, just, they just throwing stuff out there to see how you go at it. God is the same way. We start telling God about this. Then tomorrow we telling God about that. Come on. Mm -hmm. And we but when our prayer is consistent, come on somebody. That's right. When our prayer is 
in lines up with his will. Come on. When our prayer is what God wants to happen in our situation, then he starts working it and he gives what? Good gifts to us. That's he right. said, if your parents, which are evil, know how to give good gifts, what? How much more than God? Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Know how to give us yes. what we need. Glory to God. Yes. We serve a God that can do what? Anything yes. but fail. Yes. That's not even in his vocabulary. Why y'all need to put it in y'all? Come on. They said, we, we, we ain't, we ain't going to fail up in here. Yes. Amen, somebody. This is going to glorify God. I know a lot of times you can't, you can't, you you really, if you're not a visionary, you can't see what's going to happen. Right, that's right, right. Amen, somebody. You know, it, the, one of the things about a lot of people in church, when the pastor start talking about change is happening and stuff that's going to be done, they can't see the vision. Right. And a lot of folks, when the pastor call me when you get to get it done. Right. But we need some faith walkers these yeah. days. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Which means you need to believe that it will happen. Come on, glory to God. Without even seeing it. That's what faith is all about. Is the evidence what? And not things not seen. Glory to God. But we know that God what can do it. Yes, he can. Amen. He can do it. And just like in our scripture today, when Paul starts saying that whatever has happened to me, has actually worked in the for the good of the gospel. Yes. Amen. Although I may not like it, but God is still getting the glory. Come on, somebody. Yes. We might be having issues with this building, but in the end, God is going to get the glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And folks in this community is going to be helped. Glory to God. So I just come by to let you know today that God is still in the blessing business. Come on. He's still on the throne. He's still working miracles. Amen. Glory to God. He's still doing what he does best. That is heal, save, and deliver. God hears. Yes. You put in there what you need. Yes. Mm -hmm. A very present help in times of trouble. That's what my word tells me. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. So I don't let whatever's going on in my life throw me off my path. Yes. I just count it up, count it all joy, and I said, okay, God, it, 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 it'll work out. Yes, Lord. Whatever's going on, I, you, you'll fix it. Yes. Amen. You know, I remember years ago when my husband and I, we were freshly married, and I, you know, and I was on my bench about God this and God that, and he turned to me and said, he just said, like, God going to work everything out. And I said, yes, he is. Yes, he is. And now he beat me talking about what God going to do. Amen. 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 You know, sometimes you, it's just based on your faith and based on what you tell people, and he'll say stuff, and I'll say, God got that. Yes. Don't worry about it. It'll work itself out. Yes. And I've just learned. You know what I'm saying? I've learned how to depend on Jesus. Yeah. Depend on somebody. Yeah.